Hello folks, I'm here to demonstrate how the dual laser alignment system by TrueShot works. It's a quick, easy way to tune your bow. Okay, we're going to demonstrate on PSEX Force with the NAP Quick Tune 3000 Micro Adjust Arrow Rest. What we need is going to be the dual laser alignment jig, the dual laser alignment long extension, an arrow, a single Allen wrench that goes to the jig itself, and a set of Allen wrenches. First off, we're going to take the long extension with the two nuts installed on it. We're going to screw it into the stabilizer hole. You don't want to, want to screw the extension in about three-eighths of the threads. So make sure you get it in pretty good. Okay, once we get to that point, we're going to take the dual laser jig itself. We're going to put it up to the extension and back screw into it with the extension until it gets started. Okay, once it started, now you can take the jig itself and spin it tight. You do want this to be tight to the extension. Okay, it's tight to the extension. Now we're going to take the jig to about 10 o'clock and hold it there and then we're going to finger snug the first nut to the bow itself. Now you can run the second one tight to this first nut. Tweak it over to where it looks like it's pretty close to being square. Okay, once you do that, take your single Allen wrench, loosen the collars, the right and the left collar of the roller itself to the laser. Loosen the wing nut if you have it tight. Alright, turn the laser on. Take the laser and you want to shoot top dead center of the jig itself. Not the extension, but the jig. Once you get it center, tighten down your wing nut. Once the wing nut's tight, Pull both collars tight back to the roller itself. Snug them down. Okay, they're snug. Laser still top dead center. Loosen the wing nut. Rotate it up to the limb. Okay, the laser is showing that it's a little bit left of center of the limb boat. So what you want to do, tweak the jig over just a little bit. Until you're dead center. Alright, it's dead center. Once that's dead center and you're dead center here, it is squared to the bow. So that's priority number one. Once it's squared to the bow, you're going to want to loosen the collars to the side laser. Okay, step number one is establishing the knock point. Turn your laser on. On the PSE, the PSE has an engraved mark for your knocking point. We'll set the laser on the engraved mark. Okay. Once it's on the mark, tighten down the wing nut, pull your collars tight, tighten them back up, rotate it up to your string and that's your knocking point. My loop's already set so I know that's my knocking point. Okay, laser dead center of my loop.
that's your knocking point. That's where you set that. Next, we're going to shut that off and we're going to apply our arrow. Arrow on the loop on my two prong arrow rest. Now, you can start either side. I always go at the top. Loosen the wing nut, turn the laser on. Should be hitting your string. Okay, we're dead center of the string. Now I'm going to rotate it out here to where it's pointing straight down, which will be a 90 from the jig itself. Tighten it down and just leave it. Same thing here. I'll turn the laser on. It's dead center of my knock. I'm going to rotate it out here where it's perpendicular to the laser to already tighten down. And just leave it. Okay, both my lasers are on and they're not center of the arrow. So what I need to do is loosen my Allen bolt here. Okay, it's loose. Looks like I need to go up with my arrow. So I'm going to adjust my arrow rest up to where laser dot is dead center of the side. Okay, that one's center. This one here, it looks like my arrow needs to go to the right or in. So I'm going to pull my arrow in, okay, it's dead center both ways. Now I'm going to tighten the arrow rest back down. Sometimes when you tighten your lock nut back down, it does move the arrow, so you may have to Loosen it back up and compensate for the, di the difference, which mine does. When I tighten it, the arrow goes up, leaves the laser dot low of center. So I'm going to loosen it back up, and I'm going to drop it just a little bit to where the laser dot is a little bit high of center. Okay, it's a little bit high. Tighten it back down. It's dead center now. Top is as well. Okay, now arrow is perfectly tuned to the bow. That doesn't mean you don't have to paper tune. Just means it's perfect to the bow. So once that's done, there's one other step that I'm, I may do later. You can rotate the laser straight up. Lock it down, take a measurement from the back side of your limb out, write that number down, then butt your string with a tape out to your laser, write that measurement down. Once you get those two measurements, rotate your laser down, pull a tape from the back of your limb out, set the laser to the same measurement that you had from the back of this, la this limb out to your laser mark. Set the laser to that and then butt your string and read what you got, write it down. Whatever the difference, difference is between those two marks, you either have to tighten this limb bolt or loosen it or tighten this one or loosen it to adjust the limbs to get the string measurements the same top and bottom. These are being sold on eBay as of right now. If you're interested and you don't want to go to eBay to purchase one, you can send me an email at Travis underscore Ranger 2000 at yahoo.com. Send me a message and we'll go from there. Thanks.